Paper 1. Cognition and Behaviour. Topic 1. Memory. Episodic memory, semantic memory and procedural memory are the three primary types of memory. These types of memory are used to make up long-term memory. 1. Episodic memory. Episodic memory is a type of long-term memory that involves the ability to recall specific events, experiences and situations from our past, for example holidays. It is often described as autobiographical memory and includes details about what happened, where it occurred and when it happened. It is unique to the individual regardless of whether it is the same event. It involves conscious recall. Episodic is associated with the right prefrontal cortex. Number two, semantic memory. Semantic memory refers to our general knowledge and understanding of the world. It involves the ability to recall facts, concepts and ideas that are not tied to a specific event or experience. Examples of semantic memory include knowing that the sky is blue, understanding the meaning of words and knowing historical events. It also involves conscious recall. Semantic memory is associated with the left prefrontal cortex of the brain. Number three, procedural memory. Procedural memory involves our ability to learn and remember how to perform various motor skills and actions. This type of memory is often referred to as muscle memory and is essential for tasks such as riding a bike, typing on a keyboard or playing a musical instrument. Procedural memory is associated with the motor area which controls fine motor skills. It happens without conscious recall once it has become encoded into the long-term memory. Memories are encoded and stored through a complex process that involves various regions of the brain including the hippocampus, neocortex and amygdala. Here are the three steps involved in the encoding and storage of memories. Step 1. Encoding. The process of transforming sensory input into a form that can be stored in the brain is known as encoding. This process involves the initial registration of information in the sensory systems, such as visual, auditory or olfactory systems. This information is then processed and transformed into a neural code that can be stored in the brain. Step two, storage. Memories are stored in different regions of the brain, depending on the type of memory. For example, episodic memories are stored in the hippocampus, while semantic memories are stored in the neocortex. The amygdala is involved in the storage of emotional memories. Step three, retrieval. The process of accessing stored memories is known as retrieval. This involves the reactivation of the neural code that was initially encoded during encoding. Retrieval can be triggered by cues or reminders that are associated with the memory. Overall, the encoding and storage of memories involve a complex interplay between various brain regions and processes. Different types of memories are stored in different regions of the brain. They can be retrieved in a number of different ways. This can include recognition. For example, when students are given multiple choice questions, they are given clues to enable the retrieval process. Cued recall can also help. For example, when you smell a smell which was there at the time of encoding, or free recall, when a person just recalls without the clues or cues. New information can be encoded in a number of ways. This can be done via visual encoding, thinking through images, acoustic encoding, for example, remembering how a song or a piece of music goes, and finally, semantic encoding, which is via meaning. The word semantic refers to meaning. This is the understanding of words and placing them in a sentence.